from your beauty. <laughs> Keith Ronald Dybaugh the second was born October 7, 1955. Wow, that's 50 years ago. Two older sisters, Debbie and Denise, he had, you know. He met and fell in love with my sister, the baby. Asked my father for a hand in marriage and was told, cut your hair and maybe. God bless their home with four children. Robin, Desiree, Keith, and Casey came along. Through life's trials and toil, Ron was always had a song. Through hard work, a business was built of putting up ceilings. Something more Ron wanted, he had a feeling. Motorcycles were his love, and he tried to buy a Harley Davidson place. Mason City Honda needed help and wanted a pleasant face. This too was a great achievement for Ron and his son, teaching and guiding and helping, and as well as being fun. For taking wonderful care of my baby sister, I will always be thankful God sent this mister. Walnut Ridge Baptist Church has been a huge place for Ron to help others giving his money, time, and talents to help his fellow sisters and brothers. A wonderful home, four children, seven grandchildren, a loving wife, two businesses, two condos, a deacon, a father, grandfather, and husband, Ron has taken care of with little strife. Happy birthday, Ron, and many, many more. Always put God first and Him adore. Well, thank you, Candy. <laughs> Happy birthday, Ron. So you've arrived at 50. Well, many people uh, count how many years that they've lived. But in Psalm 90, in verse 12, it tells us to number the days that we have left. And to do that, we need wisdom. James 1.5 tells us to ask God for wisdom that we may apply our hearts to use it. We need to know what wisdom is, and it's kind of interesting how wisdom changes over time. When we were young, it was education that would help us to accumulate things and to live our lives. And when we're 35, when we're healthy, and, uh, and we pretty much know what we're gonna do the rest of our lives, at least our working lives, uh, we, we think of wisdom as basically an appreciation of life. But you know, when we get to be about 50, it seems like wisdom kind of changes the meaning of it. And wisdom becomes, uh, as it's applied, to the real meaning of life. I'm reminded of 2 John 4, verse 4 there, that says, uh, I have no greater joy than to know that my children walk in the truth. So I want to wish you a happy birthday on your 50th birthday and many of the days that you have left, that you will apply your hearts to wisdom, that your children and your children's children will walk in truth. For this uh, will bring you happiness and joy for many days to come. And beyond any present that I could give you today, that's going to be what life is going to reward to you, to know that your children walk in truth. And I pray that that's what will happen in your life that you'll be able to help your children to understand what truth is and how, how much joy it brings to you and to your family when they walk in truth. And so I just want to wish you a happy birthday and uh, I'm glad that you're my brother-in-law and may God bless. Well, you know, I have these friends. And they keep asking me, just what's so special about Ron now that he's turning 50? So this is what I said, and I didn't have to think very long. There's at least 50 reasons why I love him. He's never ever meant. He's never ever mean, Jean. He'll help you in a jam, Pam. He's a Honda loving man, Jan. That's why I love him so. He doesn't make me beg, Meg, but does whatever I say, Faye. And he brings me flowers too, Sue. That's why I love him so. His kids are everything to him, Kim. And he's always got a plan, Jan. He can always make you laugh, Kath. 
That's why I love him so. And then they said, well, that's all good, but that still doesn't make him so great. So I said, let me continue if you would. His grandkids think he's great, Kate. And he loves his beagle dog, Maud. He treats me like a queen, Jean. That's why I love him so. He loves the way I cook, Brooke. And there's nothing he can't fix, Trish. He calls me on the phone, Joan. That's why I love him so. He's the smartest man I know, Flo. He loves the Hawkeyes too, Lou. When I'm mad, he loves me anyway, Kay. <clears throat> That's why I love him so. And even though he's old, Joad, he still knows how to kiss Chris. Mwah. He's everything to me, D. That's why I love him so. I think it's very plain, Jane. With him I'll always stay, Faye. Cause he's the perfect man, Fran. That's why I love him so. I think it's very plain, Jane. With him I'll always stay, Faye. Cause he's the perfect man, Fran. That's why I love him so. Cause he's the perfect man, Fran. That's why I love him so. Happy birthday, Ron. I love you. Ron, she made me do this. I didn't want to do it. I don't know what's wrong with her. <laughs> but you have a happy birthday. Bye.